today's Kevin M. Craft at, from KevinMCraft.com, where you can go for all things Kevin M. Craft. Today, I'm going to show you how to construct a one-string guitar, otherwise and more popularly known as a diddly bow. You may be familiar with, with the term. Uh, diddly bow is just basically a cigar box guitar that has one string, all right? And so I'm gonna show you how to construct one. This is a finished one that I did some time ago. Um, you can see it's a, it's a cigar box, a uh, piece of wood for the neck, you got the bridge and the nut here, uh, but it works, it's fully functional, and uh, I'm going to show you how to construct one of, one of these today. These are going to be slide guitars, or a slide guitar, so you're going to need a slide to play it. It won't be a fretted one, um, but slide is a lot more fun, I think, that's why I do it so much. Anyway, you're going to need a cigar box, an empty cigar box. Probably wouldn't work well with, cig with cigars in it, so you want an empty cigar box. I'm gonna use a Comancho here. It's a pretty nice, pretty nice, uh, nice box. Um, piece of wood, two by four, uh, about three feet long is probably the ideal length for something like this. Uh, for your bridge, any, any number of screws uh, or bolts uh, will work um, like these. This is gonna be my bridge. It's going to be my nut. It's so small because I'm only going to have one string on it, so I don't need a big one. Uh, besides, I've, I've kind of grown, grown fond, fond of these. I've used a number of different bolts and, sc and screws and that kind of thing. Uh, I like these a lot better, so I started using these a lot. Um, to hold the strings, you can use uh, regular guitar tuners, which you can buy at CBGiddy. Dot com. I'll put a link for that uh, in my in the description of this video. Uh, if you want to be really primitive, you can use uh, eye bolts and wing nuts like this to hold your strings in. Since this is going to be a guitar that I'm going to be giving away, there's some hint for you for those of you who want to follow me at kevinmcraft.com. Uh, we're going to be giving this away. So uh, for the purpose of that and to make it easier for the for the people who might get this, I'm going to use a regular. Uh, guitar tuner for this. All right, so what you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to prepare your cigar box, get your cigar box. So I'm gonna take, the, oh, this is a string, that's it. we're gonna use that. Um, so pre to prepare your, your guitar box or your cigar box, you're going to need to uh, cut a hole in it. And there are a number of boring uh, tools you can use for your electric drill that'll It'll do that. I can't think of what it's called right now, but uh, um, you want to bore a hole, and it doesn't have to be a big hole like this either. It could be a, it could be a, a small hole, a, a series of small holes or tiny holes uh, to give it a kind of a speaker look. Uh, it's all a matter of style, and there are no rules when it comes to cigar box guitars. Uh, it's whatever you want to do, however you want to imagine it. All right. Uh, you're also going to want to notch out this part of the of the box to accommodate the, the wood that you're gonna, you're gonna put in it. As you see, it fits right in there like that. Okay, so you're gonna need to notch that out and the top should close like that, all right? Then you're gonna need to prepare your neck. And this is a smaller, shorter piece of wood, but this to give you, I gotta illustrate what I'm, what I'm talking about here. Um, you'll see I, Cut a quarter inch hole uh, for the uh, guitar tuner here. Um, a round file to file this out for the for the uh, nut. And then a hole down here for the string to come up through. All right, so we're gonna, the guitar is gonna face, yeah, I'll put it this way, since the camera's facing that way, this way. And get another piece of wood here. It's prepared. All right, there we go. And you can see I have put the holes in. There is a notch cut for the nut and the guitar tuner is here. All right, didn't think it'd be this, this, this simple, did you? There's the string we're gonna use, all right? It's a thicker string, you can use any gauge string uh, as long as it'll accommodate your, your slide. Um, if you use the thinnest strings of a guitar set, uh, you, you might 
you might find it fretting out, so to speak. You try to use a slide on it and the slide is just too heavy because the string is too light. So you want to be sure that you, you know, that the gauge you use can accommodate the slide you're going to use. I'm going to use this heavy metal slide on, on this guitar to accommodate the thick string, the bottom string from a guitar set. All right, and it should, it should accommodate it very nicely. Okay, so we got the, we're bringing the string up through the bottom. We're going to put it up here, like you do, you string it like a regular guitar, it's just, you're just using one string. All right, like that. To make this go a little quicker, I'm gonna use this tar string winder. Give me just a moment here. All right, I got it. I got some tension to it now. You can't see it. Uh, I got some tension to it now. And I'm going to add the nut here. Just like that. Might be a little too tight. I'm going to have to loosen it up a little bit. We'll see. Right there. And then the bridge goes on the bottom. Just like that. And voila! You have a diddly bow, a one string guitar. Okay, I'm gonna tighten this up just a little bit. Let's get it to tension here. And as you can hear, There you go. There's your one string guitar <laughs> and your, uh, your diddly bow, fully functional. What I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna be giving this away, this is just a demonstration, I'm gonna be giving this away, because it's a pretty nice box and a nice guitar. I almost wanna keep it myself. What I'm gonna end up doing, I'm gonna detail the, the neck a little bit, probably put a cross on it, maybe like the one that I showed you earlier, on, on the one that I showed you earlier. And then I'll probably, I'm gonna add a clasp, because as you see, that doesn't close all the way. Well, it does, that closes pretty well. Um, but I may add a clasp right in the front to make sure that the box stays closed and it can be loosened up to, for maintenance if you want and everything. But uh, there you go. That's, is, that's it's pretty simple. Anybody can do it. All right. Uh, and that's why I wanted to, to show you this so that, so that you too can, uh, can make an instrument like this. And it is, I, I, I want you to check out my video of Escape. It's a song that I did with the diddly bow. Uh, to show you uh, that it is it is an instrument that, that you can use as long as you take the time to and dedicate time to uh, to learn how to do it, and um, they're a lot of fun. Uh, you do you do a diddly bow? You might want to do a, a three string cigar box guitar next, uh, and I'll I'll uh, I guarantee you building and playing these things is very addicting. They're a lot of they're a lot of fun. Uh, I started my trans my transition from normal guitars to cigar box guitars. A number of years ago and I really haven't gone back since it's just been it's it, that's how fun and uh, and uh, addicting it is and quite frankly there's nothing quite like creating music on an instrument you created with your own hands so there you go get yourself a cigar box and make yourself a diddly bow all right and I'll be putting instructions on my website that will have photographs and, and, uh, and written instructions for you as well uh, for those who want to take a little more time to uh, you know, to uh, bend this video to make your guitar. Uh, but I invite you to, to do that. It'll be at kevinmcraft.com uh, probably by the time you see this video. All right, so I want to thank you again for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you, you really do uh, uh, take the challenge. Make your own instruments uh, to make your own music. All right, thanks.